In the army, you got your gear. You got the helmet, you got the vest, you got other types of things. You got cold weather gear, wet weather gear, all sorts of stuff. And a lot of times when you come out of the field or maybe you have to go somewhere else to another duty assignment, you have to turn that stuff in, you have to do inspections, whatever, right? You gotta make sure that stuff is clean. And I've got three kind of hacks or tips to kind of help you make sure that you get that gear clean, pass inspection, get that stuff turned in, whatever the case might be. What's up my friends, US Army veteran Christopher Chaos, and today I'm trying to help you with three tips, three hacks, whatever you wanna call them, to help get your gear clean, your army gear. Maybe you saw my recent video that talked about, you know, what gear you get to keep. Well, that means the stuff that you don't get to keep. You gotta turn that stuff in, and it's gotta look great, it's gotta be super clean, so you need some tips for making sure that stuff gets clean, or sometimes when you just come out of the field, you come out of the field, maybe the next day, a couple days later, whatever, they have some kind of inspection to check out to make sure you still have the gear, but it's also gotta be clean, so you want some tips for getting your gear clean. So that's what we're gonna cover in today's video. Make sure you stick around to the end because I, I even have like a bonus one that'll kind of throw in there too to maybe help some people out. Of course, if this is the type of content you wanna learn about because you wanna learn about the Army, you're in the Army, you're a veteran, you're just curious, whatever, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2021. So help me make it happen. Make sure you click on that bell to get alerts as soon as new videos go live to include the live streams and become a part of that awesome notification platoon. Now, let's dive into these three tips that I've got for getting your Army gear clean. Starting off with the very first one, and that is quartermaster. I think some places don't even call it quartermaster anymore. Some just call it post laundry, but here's how this kind of works, okay? On most, if not all army installations, they have what's called the quartermaster or the post laundry. It is a facility that is for the soldiers, for the soldiers to get stuff cleaned. Now you can't go taking your laundry, you got your socks and your underwear and everything like that. You can't go taking that stuff over to them to get that stuff clean, but your gear. And there are certain items they will take and certain items they won't take. But the nice thing is, is you can take that gear to them, the ones, the gear that they will take at least, and they'll clean it for you. And they do a pretty damn good job. So like in the army, you got like maybe the Gore-Tex jacket, you've got uh, a lot of those pouches that go on the vest, you've got the cover for your helmet, a lot of that stuff, they will take that stuff and they will clean the hell out of it for you. So really great, especially if you have to turn that stuff in or maybe you have an inspection coming up. But they don't take everything. Like they don't take the helmet itself, so you have to clean the helmet yourself. The body armor, usually they don't take the body armor. I don't even think if they take the plates out, I don't think they'll just take the, the body armor by itself because it's kind of a kind of an important item and I don't think they want to touch it kind of a thing, but uh, there are certain items that they will not take. So if they don't take it, then you kind of have to go through the process on your own to just clean it on your own without letting them take it. One of the nice kind of perks too with taking it to post laundry or quartermaster is a lot of times like if you are in the situation where you're getting out of the army, so you have to get all this gear cleaned so that way you can turn it in. Well, after you pick it up from the post laundry, after it's been cleaned and everything, they usually give you like some kind of slip to show that, hey, we cleaned these items and everything. And usually at CIF, as I talked about before, that's the location where you get all this army gear and that's where you have to turn it back into. When you take that gear to that CIF location to turn that gear in and you give them that slip that these items have been cleaned by quartermaster, a lot of times they just take it. They'll see that you have that slip, they just grab those items, throw it in the bin, and they don't even look at it. So sometimes it gives you a nice free pass of certain items you don't even have to clean yourself, somebody else can clean it, and CIF individuals will just take that stuff, no questions asked, as long as you have that slip showing that they clean those items. A lot of these items take maybe like three, four, or five days to clean type of thing. Each installation probably has its own time frame as far as if you drop it off on a Monday, maybe you get it back on a Thursday or on a Friday, whatever, you'd have to check with that installation to see what their policy is as far as drop off and how long it'll take to get the stuff back to make sure that maybe you're gonna get it back in time. Obviously, if you have like an inspection coming up or you have a date to turn that items in and you don't have the amount of time that they're gonna give you for returning it back to you clean, then you may have to do it on your own. So keep that in mind too. It's not usually like a one day turnaround. It's usually like a couple days. I think at the most, maybe a week, maybe less, but you have to make sure that you know what the turnaround dates are gonna be. So that way you time it properly and you're not trying to do an inspection or turn in. You're missing these items because they're still at the post laundry or the quartermaster. Now going into the second one, maybe there are certain things that quartermaster wouldn't take. The post laundry wouldn't take those. You didn't have enough time to drop them off to them and you're gonna have to clean them yourself. Well, the second kind of tip I would recommend is taking your gear to a car wash. 
The reason why I say that is they obviously have probably like high pressure washer, you know, uh, spray nozzles and everything. They got the scrub brushes, they got the soap, everything there. So you can pressure wash the crap out of that gear. I obviously wouldn't recommend doing any kind of small items because it might fall down the drain. It might go shooting across the, you know, the car wash or whatever, but larger items, especially like that vest. The vest was a great thing to take to a car wash for me to get it clean before I was turning it in. Because you can sit there with that soap, that high pressure washer type of thing and really get the hell out of it, take a scrub brush to it, maybe the one you know using for the car or whatever, and you can really kind of get the dirt out of it pretty darn good with a pressure washer. If you have a pressure washer at home, cool, maybe that works, but a lot of times the ones that like a car wash is pretty high pressure unless you have a really good industrial one at home. I did a lot of items because I didn't have time to go to Quartermaster for certain things and so I knew that I had certain items that were pretty dirty from going to Iraq and just being in the field and whatever the case was and that pressure washer really kind of helped get a lot of those stains out, really helped me get a lot of things clean because you can just blast the crap out of it with that high pressure you know, nozzle. You might still have to do a little bit of touch up kind of treatment type of thing. Like I know like I was able to get the bulk of stuff off of like my, my vest, my armored vest. And there was still some areas that still had some stains and I had to do some other like little tricks to kind of get those stains out, which I'll talk about here in a little bit. But for the most part, the pressure washer worked great, especially going to a car wash. Or like I said, if you have one at home that's a pretty high powered one, then maybe that works as well. And you don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to spend any money going to a car wash. So then kind of leading into that third tip, because sometimes that pressure washer may get a lot of it, but sometimes there's little things here and there and you have to do some different treatment at home to clean some things. So I have a, my third tip, which is for at home. That being a tip that I used myself, especially with like the vest, because like I said, that pressure washer did great for getting a lot of things off, but the collar. The collar has a lot of stains on it from you sweating, being in the field, being in a combat zone, whatever the case was, and just builds up all that kind of, you know, stains from you sweating, you being dirty in the field and everything like that. And sometimes the pressure washer didn't get all of it, maybe it faded a little bit and I needed to do some home kind of treatment. So is what I did is I have a drill. Most people, a lot of people have drills probably too, DeWalt, whatever the case is. And they have usually attachments for that drill that's got a scrub brush. So I went down to Lowe's. I got a scrub brush that had a drill attachment for cleaning items. And I used a little bit of OxyClean and just took that drill up and down through that vest inside the collar, anywhere they had stains that still didn't quite get out from the pressure washer. So you just take some OxyClean, mix it in with a little bit of water. Some people I've heard, you know, use a little bit of Dawn dish soap because that helps a little bit too, but you go and use that in like, inside of like a little dish or a bucket or whatever. You have that drill with that brush on there. So you're kind of using that to get it wet and then you're just kind of taking it and running it across the, uh, across the, you know, the vest, the backpack, whatever type of item you're trying to clean, especially for really deep stains that are really hard to get out because yeah, you could sit there with like a hand brush and scrub it really good, but you're probably gonna save a little bit of energy by using the, the drill adapter type of thing. I think I even have it like in one of my old videos where I was cleaning my gear and I had a, at first I used like a, uh, just something I had around the house that I think I made an attachment for and was scrubbing the hell out of the assault pack that I had, but then I don't, I don't have it in the, in the vlog, but then later I went and just got an actual scrub brush, I think from the local Lowe's to attach to the drill and that worked a little bit better too. So you probably could get creative and just make something at home, but it's usually not that expensive just to go to like Home Depot or Lowe's or hell, even go on Amazon and probably find something that's got some great attachments. And if there's something pretty good, I'll leave a link down in the description box if you wanna maybe get something because you're in that situation where you need to get your items clean. So kind of a bonus one, I, I've known people in the army have done this little kind of bonus hack type of thing. It works for some people, doesn't work for others. I've known people that do this little hack to, you know, pass inspections very easily or, you know, get through CIF to clear out their, their army gear pretty easily. So here's like a little bonus kind of a tip. That being having extra TA-50, and that's why I say it may not work for everybody because not everybody can just have extra TA-50. You probably aren't gonna be able to have like an extra helmet, an extra vest or anything like that. But it, the way I've known this to work, this little hack, is that some people would go and they would go to, um, they'd go to, you know, like a surplus store locally, right? And they would get wet weather gear, the pouches, certain other things that weren't too expensive and kind of build those up. And the items they got from the surplus store, they would use that when they went to the field and the items they got issued from CIF, they would leave that stuff in the closet, leave that stuff in a bag, and it would maintain its, you know, cleanliness because they never used it, its newness because it was brand new when they got it from CIF, whatever. So if there are certain items that you can get at a 
local surplus store that matches, right? You don't want to go and like, if you have the, you know, the OCP camouflage, you know, wet weather gear, whatever, don't go grabbing like some desert version that they had, at, you know, from the Marines, you have to get something that matches. So that is gonna be a big part is making sure that it matches, it's the same size, it looks similar, right? If the one from the surplus store is a little bit worn, no big deal, but don't go getting stuff that's you know beat up really bad and you're probably gonna yelled at because it's fallen apart or it's torn or whatever. But if you can get certain items from like a local surplus store that look the same and everything, use that stuff when you go to the field. And then when you come back from the field, you don't really care if you get it super clean or not, maybe just rinse it off or don't even wash it at all, whatever the case you wanna do. And then that stuff you actually got issued from CIF, use that for like the inspections or when it comes time to get out of the army. If you didn't use any of that stuff then you have that stuff brand new still, super clean and you can turn it in and not have any issues. I didn't really do any of this, but I, I knew a few soldiers that would go through the extra work to actually go and do this. And it worked out great for them. You know, they would have their inspection gear and their field gear and they rolled with it and they did pretty darn good. If you haven't yet joined the army, you're not sure what gear you commonly get issued. I actually have a video that I did a while back on that topic right here. So if you wanna check that out, see what kind of common issue gear you get in the army, check it out. If you wanna see my latest video upload, I got available right there for you. Links down in the description box down below. Join the Discord, follow me on Instagram. Thanks for hanging out. I'm Christopher Chaos and I'll see you next time. See ya.